In today's video, we take a look at the popular sling bags from Arcteryx, the Mantis 1 and the Mantis 2 waste pack. They're small, they're simple, and they organize your essentials for little trips and also for travel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster, and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and also hitting that little bell. Let's dive in and check out the Mantis waste packs from Arcteryx. Now we've done a number of product walkthroughs on Arcteryx bags already, so if you're interested in checking any of those out, head over to our channel and click the Arcteryx playlist, or you can just click the link above right now. But Arcteryx is really well known for not just their carry bags, but also their performance apparel. So if you'd like to see us do product walkthroughs on shells, downs, things like that, let us know in the comments below. But for today's video, we're looking at the Mantis waste packs. This is the Mantis 1 liter and the Mantis 2 waste pack. If you're interested in checking out the product pages of either of these bags, there will be links in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen that you can scan with your phone camera. And as always, if you're not aware, we have a Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter where we talk about news in the carry world and where we also give away gear to our subscribers every month. So if you want to join in on that, be sure to be subscribed to the channel and also the newsletter. So let's take a look at the features and compartments of the Mantis waste packs. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be looking at the Mantis 2 waste pack. The Mantis 2 is 2 litres and the Mantis 1 is 1 litre. As for the materials of the Mantis waste packs, they feature a 420 denier HD nylon plane weave. It is a simple and tough material and has enough abrasion resistance and durability for everyday use. In terms of hardware, we've got YKK zippers and we've also got an ITW buckle. As for the branding with Arcteryx, they just feature the little Arcteryx logo here, which is a picture of the Archaeopteryx. Taking a look at the back of the bag, the harness system, we have a simple spacer mesh here, which provides enough breathability, enough comfort and padding for those everyday uses. You're not carrying too much inside a two liter or a one liter sling bag, so you don't need too much padding, but we do have sufficient padding that'll make it nice and comfortable, nice and breathable. As for the carry strap here, we have a fairly simple carry strap. There's no padding, nothing like that, um, but it is attached onto the sling bag via these two loops on the side here, and they allow the carry strap to flex and kind of curve a little bit depending on how you're carrying it on your body. As mentioned, we have a simple ITW buckle for release and we've got a little bit of strap management here, elastic webbing just to maintain that strap slack. Just before we get into the compartments of the waist pack, a few of you have been asking what watch am I wearing? This is a timepiece from the people over at Undone. They make really unique watches with a big focus on personalization and accessibility. So if you wanna check those out, like everything else that we see in the video, there'll be links in the description below. So taking a look at the compartments of the waist pack, we've got three compartments. We've got a quick access compartment at the front. We've also got the main compartment here, and then we've got a little phone slip pocket here just at the back. So with the phone pocket here, I have an iPhone 12 with an OtterBox case. Now it won't be able to fit all phones inside there, especially the Max versions. And if you have a particularly chunky case, you might have some struggle fitting your phone in there. Now, if you don't wanna store your phone in there, you can store other things inside there, maybe a transit card, maybe a credit card or some cash. Just keep in mind that this goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, so you might have a little bit of difficulty reaching in. But for all intents and purposes, my iPhone 12 fits in there fine. So in this front main compartment, I've just got some quick access items. I've got some hand sanitizer, and there is also a little key leash here, which you can attach your keys to, just to make sure that it stays in one place, doesn't accidentally fall out. Here I have an orbit key attached there, and I've also got a little flashlight. This is the Nightcore Tiny 2. Over to the main compartment here, this is where you'll be storing most of your gear. Just getting some stuff out the middle. I've got an Oz Air face mask. I've also got some really nice polarized sunglasses from Sunski. I've got a Nomad Kevlar charging cable and also a portable battery from Nightcore. Now inside the main compartment, we also have a zippered compartment and this is where you can store some other smaller bits and pieces that you just don't want to get caught up in this main area. So I've put inside my Master and Dynamic MW08 Truly Wireless earphones. At the back here, we have another slip pocket. Now this is super useful if you're going traveling. You can store any documents, any papers, any passports, things like that in there. So I've got a Bellroy travel folio that stores my passport. And on the side here, I've got a little pen. This is just the Everyman Grafton Pen Mini. Now these are just a few everyday essentials and they can also be travel essentials if you're going traveling. This is a two liter sling bag and it wasn't filled to the brim. So there's plenty of space for all other little bits and pieces that you're going to take with you if you're going travel or just taking it for a day trip. Potentially, if you're carrying a 
mirrorless camera and you don't quite like the bulk that typically comes with camera sling bags, you could store a mirrorless camera in there. But for all intents and purposes, a very simple and smartly designed organization and structure. Okay, so here's a quick look at the waist packs on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". And this is the one liter waste pack. And alternatively, you can wear the waste pack around the waist. Well everyone, there you have it, the Mantis Waste Packs. They are simple and smartly designed. They've got good organization and they're well made. They're perfect for little day trips, but they're also really good travel companions as well. If you like this video, you found it helpful and you're thinking about getting either of these bags, using the affiliate links in the description below will really help support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And if you'd like to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to the Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. But we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these sling bags. They're marketed as small and simple waste packs, but is that enough for you? And can you see yourself using these sling bags other than everyday carry and or travel? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this or more videos on sling bags or Arcteryx, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Mantis 1 and the Mantis 2 waste pack. Take care and we'll see you next time.